I think there's been a big misunderstanding of what credit means in science. Credit doesn't mean accolades. Credit means this is the person responsible for this theory. This is the point of contact for this information. So the problem is not that I'm not getting credit. The problem is they're erasing me from my own theory that I built out of raw protein data from a database. It built from scratch that took thousands of hours to take all of those proteins, all those gene-coded proteins, put them together in a biochemical network, compare autism biomarkers across research to that network, and produce this biochemical cascade. That took very real time effort and, and intellectual work that they didn't do. So it's not just they don't deserve credit for it because they didn't do it, it's they don't understand it. They should not be the point of contact for a framework they did not create. And, and that's clear because they're distorting it. We teach classes on why this is so harmful because they can produce harmful outcomes because it's not their work, it's mine. I know there are people who are distorting my work as, as a synthesis of literature and that's not what it is. It's a synthesis of raw data, thousands and thousands of proteins that I organized Think Mendeleev's periodic table. He took all of the elements and then organized them in a cohesive way that helped make sense of it. Right? If someone were to come in and say, that's my table, they didn't construct that out of the raw data, so they're not going to be able to explain it in the way that Mendeleev could. And they're going to distort it just based on not having been the one to build it, build it. And it took them how long to be able to even be taught to understand that before they could implement it and use it. And that's what we're seeing right now with the autism research. They're distorting it. They need to be taught how to use this theory. Not that I know more than they do as in, in their respective fields. I'm sure there's more nuance that they understand that I don't, but this theory, the one I built from raw data, this I understand better because, and that's where the plagiarism comes in and why it's so impactful because yes, are these raw data facts known? And, and could they have compiled them in a similar way to reach a similar conclusion? Yes, but that's not what they did. They started with my conclusion. They started with Mendeleev's periodic table and they said, look, we created it. That's not how that went down. And there are distortions inside of there. So I'm over here like, uh, um,